Okay, welcome back. I'm Sean Redman. This is Sean's Take, and today my take is on Silo, Season 1, Episode 9, titled The Getaway. The last time we left Sheriff Nichols, she was jumping over the rail of the stairway, uh, trying to avoid being sent out to clean. So let's pick up this episode, and we're going to pick up exactly where uh, we left off. And we're going to see her land right on the bridge. So she did time it right to run up and jump over the rail to land on the bridge. But it is, I don't know, a 10, 15 foot drop onto concrete. So it does stun her a bit. But she does get it together to run away before Sims and his men get down. Just a reminder, she did grab the bag that has the hard drive in it and jumped with it. So it's with her, and now she's a fugitive. You have heard Billing's wife talk about the fact that people are saying that the sheriff, Juliet Nichols, is trying to get a new rebellion started, and they're seeing judicial overreach. Um, so maybe there is something brewing in the silo. And we see this key fob for the first time, or fob for the first time and it says 18 and it's blinking red that's as it's almost as high tech as we've seen in this series uh, and Bernard's disposition changes as soon as he sees it and he hides it and puts it in his pocket uh, I think it's going to be significant so Paul's been sent home for incompetence because he let Juliet escape, and he, of course, let Juliet escape because of his syndrome, the syndrome. You're not setting foot inside my home. It's Robert Sims' wife to Robert Sims' soldiers. I think that's really important. I think it's going to be really important, um, either in the next episode this season or next season, that um, they're not allowed inside her apartment. So Sims' wife is pretty smart. And of course, so is Juliet. Juliet's smart enough to check, make sure that it's actually linked. And then check everything that she can reach. So we have a computer that's capable of bypassing the sysop uh, so that she can gain access to the hard drive. What are you doing? And of course, it's painfully slow decrypting or whatever we're doing to the hard drive. So the Raiders are always in riot gear. Face masks, helmets. So at some point, the silo was a much more violent place. And this is interesting that Paul knows how to do this. With just a a large screwdriver and a hammer, you can pry open the door fairly efficiently. And then he's smart enough to stop the next person from doing it and uses the same screwdriver as a wedge to keep the door shut if anybody tries to get in. So finally we get to 100% we can see the contents of the hard drive. Well, yeah, no, not yet. We have to enter the password. What is the password? Paul is very smart. And he does... They show us the way he's thinking. Because they we've been with him the whole time. But this is... This is good thinking. To find this spot. There it is. Don't know what it is yet. But there it is. So because Sims sent the guards to get his wife and child home safely, he's not going to be Bernard's shadow anymore. So they found the hard drive just because it's plugged into a computer somewhere. And now Sims knows it's his house. 
So Common's got a lot of running to do in this episode. And I do want to see a behind the scenes thing to know like how many stairs they've built. Like how how far does the set go? Because when you're running, do you just run around one corner and then go back up and then run around again as if it's circling all the way down or did they do a full spiral? I think the last thing you want to do as an actor is spend all day running up a flight of stairs. Especially weirdly shaped stairs. This is a video. This is what they call it. Like he had, they have no clue. They've never seen a video before. So Sims's wife is not surprised to see the video. I think that means a lot. Like it didn't s surprise her or stun her in any way to see the video. She just said stop and they're going to know who you are now that you plugged it in. You better go. Now all of a sudden, all the cameras are starting to fail. The whole security network is starting to drop. That one broke. As if it was hit by a hammer, maybe. Paul's brain is just imploding. Does anybody know, is that a real book? Is, is that book currently a book uh, about Georgia? Or did they make that for the show? So he looked for one picture, and he pulled one picture out. What picture did he pull out? And this oven is very strange. Um, I think it's an inconsistency that the oven would act as an incinerator. So they looked at each other, what the absolute, thing, like they had a reaction because they'd never seen a video before, where Sims's wife did not. And incinerating the book, it's a good idea. I couldn't do that in my oven just by turning my oven on. All right, so th this is why you hire Rebecca Ferguson to do this show. She has nothing to say, but she's just standing there with multiple emotions trying to come out of her. She's thrilled to see George again, and she's learning that the girl was right and he was using her, and all of those things are happening, and you can see them happening. Uh, all of these pieces have gone together very well for the, and makes a great show. So now we know the door is down there. He did find the door. He said the water wasn't an issue. So I don't know where that means that the door is if it's not under the water and it's not the water is not going to be an issue. But I think he knew that she was afraid of the water. So that's I think it's important that he said that. Here we see George's, or George, we see that Paul's done with the pact, put it in the drawer and shut it away. And he has the picture that he took to remind him, but we still don't know which picture he took. And I think this conversation is very, very important. We have one goal. She says, we have one goal. And his first reaction is to say that Bernard no longer wants me to shadow him. So that's something that's going, and she pulls back. So that's against their one goal. Is there one goal to take over for Bernard and rule the silo? Or are we going to find out that they're actually flame bearers? Hiding in plain sight. Okay, so we're going to see this file again. This is the, the one that Holston's wife saw that made her want to go out. So th this is the video from outside. And the question is, is it a video of Herb going out 
or is it the video they showed her as she went out? And because we see the we see the birds, these birds are in exactly the same configuration that Holston saw them when he went out. So it's the video that they show when people go out. So the question is, if there's a video that they display in the helmet of the cleaners as they go out of the silo, is outside poisonous and they make them think it's not? Or do they do it just to make sure? Because it's absolutely the same image. And of course, in the image, the bodies that are laying there aren't laying there. But if it's nice out, the people didn't die. Um, if it's not poisonous out, they didn't die and the dead bodies would be part of the faked image. Now, um, I don't know if we talked about it. I can't remember if we talked about it. In the episode where Juliet shut down the power and we saw the main cafeteria screen blip off, that went from the dirty scene with the dead bodies in it and it clicked over to this video for just a second as it shut down and we saw some people react to the fact that it was green um, and then it was gone and when it came back it was the way they expected it so i don't know if in episode 10 which is the next episode the final episode if we're going to find out what's outside uh, maybe Juliet will make it all the way to George's door and we'll find out what's on the other side of the door. Or maybe she'll make it all the way to the door and opening the door will be the cliffhanger that then we have to wait for season two to find out. Um, so there's only one more episode. Uh, I think Rebecca Ferguson and Tim Robbins and everybody in this show is doing a great job. I'm really enjoying it. What do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to happen in the final episode? Let me know in the comments. And when you're all done, we're all done with Silo next week. What are you going to start watching? I'm watching um, Star Trek: Strange New Worlds as well as Silo. Uh, it's had a couple episodes. I'll put a card here if um, if you're interested in seeing that. I guess I should put that right there. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but thanks for watching this one. I thought this was a great episode. Um, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. That lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Um, if you've watched a few of these and liked them, hit the subscribe button because that lets me know I'm doing a good job. And it will, if you hit the notification button, let you know when I put out new content. All right. I'm Sean. This is Sean's Take. The more you know. See you next time.